In the world where everyone is fighting for our attention, we all want to be more focused. Because when we are focused, we become very productive. Time starts running faster and eventually we fall in the so-called flow. We stop thinking about everyday problems. We are not worried about our future and we don't regret our past decisions. We are just mindfully present in the current moment. The only moment that actually matters. Sadly, it's fucking hard to get focused nowadays. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm an online entrepreneur creating content that will help you become more productive and mindful. So if those topics interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the most important reasons why you cannot focus and what to do about them. So if you're ready, let's just begin. Now the first and the biggest problem is the question of what to actually focus on. I see so often that people spend so much time choosing between different tasks and picking the right one in the morning or whenever they try to be focused and do some actual work. And you know, instead of spending so much time on just choosing the task, they should just work on the task and stop losing precious time. So if this is happening to you as well that you wake up after your morning routine, you have so many tasks in front of you or in your mind and you're not sure which task to start with and then you spend so much valuable time for this, uh, what I suggest to you is that you create a to-do list every single morning. So write down one to maximum three tasks every single day or every single morning and make sure that the first task you're gonna focus on is the most challenging one. The reason for that is that you are, have the most energy and you're most refreshed uh, in the morning when you start working and because of that you should really spend this energy on the most challenging tasks and after this one is finished you can continue working on the less challenging, more easy tasks. Now, speaking of multiple tasks, the one thing you need to avoid is multitasking. Now, I know, I know, it's so popular to tell people, you know, I'm such a good multitasker, but it has been proven so many times that we cannot actually multitask. Uh, what we can actually do is we are quickly switching from one task to another and we might feel like we are multitasking, doing many things at the same time, but no, that's not what's happening. And the problem with multitasking or, you know, this quick switching between tasks is that we lose some precious time every single time when we uh, switch from one task to another. And secondly, because we do this constantly, uh, we lose lots of energy, we become more stressed, we are less productive, and at the end of the day, we feel super shitty because we didn't do what we wanted to do. So instead of multitasking, here is what we can do. Focus on each of the tasks separately. So imagine one of the tasks you want to work on as a goal, right? So after you finish this task, after you complete this goal, then you can move to the next one and not before that. So just work that way. Focus on the task, finish it, complete it, and then move to the next one. I know sometimes you will work on really advanced and complex tasks uh, that will take longer to, to finish, but in most cases, um, just do and follow this step-by-step -step process because it will be so much easier for you guys. And also you will be less stressed, more productive, and you will feel better, and that's really important. But what exactly should you do when something or someone disturbs you? Like you get a message, or um, someone calls you, maybe you get a new email, maybe a hot coworker comes into your office, what do you do then? Well, with the exception of the hot coworker, you should um, try to avoid all those distractions before they actually happen, not think of solutions when they are happening. Um, the best way to do that is to put your smartphone away, you know this, uh, you can um, turn off your smartphone or put it in the airplane mode, turn off emails, um, you know, do everything you can to avoid any kind of distractions. And if you do this before someone actually distracts you, uh, well, you will not lose the time during the process and this will save lots of time. Also, you can use apps like Forest app on your smartphone or Freedom app. Uh, on your computer and I mean there are many other apps available and they can help you um, kind of stay more focused uh, but I don't think everyone needs that well you can check it out and see if it works for you or not by the way guys if you like this video please press the like button below the next problem is energy or well the lack of energy now I'm pretty sure it happens to you now and then that you wake up uh, unmotivated you are tired you have well no energy and you just don't want to work you will do everything you can to get a free subscription to Netflix or Pornhub instead of working. 
um, what do you do on such days? Now, the first thing you can do is to, you can take a quick uh, cold shower. Now, cold shower should help you uh, regain your energy very quickly. And if this works, that's good. The cold shower can last from 20, 30 seconds to one minute. It's more than enough to uh, get refreshed. If you don't believe me, try it out and you will see. If this doesn't work, you can take a short power nap. Um, it can be from 10 to 20 minutes long. Um, by the way, if you want to learn how to make an optimal power nap, then click up here. There's a video up there waiting for you. And if this doesn't help, then you have a bit of a problem. Now, you could still try to work, kind of push yourself, but I would personally avoid that. Because if you're working when you're really uh, without energy, without motivation, this can potentially lead to a burnout. Um, first, you can have a very small, very tiny burnout, and then a more advanced one. Um, but in any case, you want to avoid all kind of burnouts. So instead, maybe take a day off if you can. It will uh, definitely benefit you. Now, if this is constantly happening to you, then you might have some issues with sleep. In this case, I would suggest uh, that you monitor your sleep quality. You can use a ring like this, Aura Ring. There's a video up here. Or, um, well, a sleep cycle app. Uh, which is for free, I believe, or any kind of other tools, apps, gadgets, whatever, just to see what's happening during the night so you can try to optimize your sleep conditions um, and consequently improve your energy levels. Now, another problem is, well, the amount of problems that you have in your everyday life. So it can happen to you that you have many thoughts uh, in your mind. Um, you're you know, thinking about some issues or problems or whatever, and you just cannot get them out of your mind. Um, there may be super serious stuff like thinking about your next vacation or thinking about a birthday gift for a friend whose name you forgot, you know, like really, really important things. But anyway, if you have many thoughts uh, that are taking your focus away, well, they will eventually take your day away. Um, and in this case, what you can do is the best thing is just to write them down um, and maybe just write a couple of things you can do once you have time and you're gonna focus on them. This should help in 90% of cases. But if it doesn't, then probably one of those problems is a really, really big one. And then in this case, well, just focus on it and just deal with it. And once you deal with it, well, then you can move on with work. And last but not least, you may be working for too long or too hard. And because of that, well, you cannot focus. And this is making you less focused. Now, where's the problem? Well, here's the thing. Scientists discovered that you can stay super focused for about four hours per day. Now, that's not that much, is it? So, four hours is what you get. Well, maybe you get five hours or some of you get three hours, but just so you know, around four hours plus minus. Now, if you're constantly pushing and working more than four hours, what happens is that you eventually become less productive um, because you're less focused and then you do less and all of a sudden, a five-year-old kiddo is outperforming you. And that's how it is. And the biggest problem with that is that we don't even realize when this happens. We are just working and working and working and we don't really know that our productivity is falling down, is decreasing. So what can you do about that? Personally, I would suggest you that you block certain hours every single day uh, when you're gonna focus on the most challenging things of the day, on the most challenging tasks. So you can block two hours in the morning, two in the afternoon, or just four hours in the morning. Or if you can work for a bit longer, then, well, just act accordingly. And during those hours, really try to stay focused. That's your only thing uh, you need to do. Work on the most important tasks, and that's it. But after you're finished with that, well, then you can relax. Then you can go out, then you can spend time with your family, then you can go partying, well, whatever you want to. And if you plan really smartly, then you will do a lot of stuff in the first part of your day when you have the most energy, and then you'll have more time for private things in the afternoon when you have a bit less energy for the most important things. It is also super important that you take regular breaks uh, between the work, especially if you wanna stay super productive in the long term. By the way, if you wanna learn the most advanced tricks to stay productive in the long term, we're talking about months and years, then check out the video up here in which I share some of the most advanced and effective strategies that will help you out. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, and guys, I hope to see you soon again. Take care.